We are ready indeed. Let's do this. Uh, so question number one, in which TV game show are contestants urged to say what you see? All eight of you getting that one right, guys? Uh, yeah, of course, it was catchphrase. Let's have a look at our scores so far. It was quick off the ball there. Coco. Fabulous. Just bear with me one second, guys, as well. All right, guys, let's uh, let's do another one uh, and see if this works. Okay, I'm going to, it may have turned it down. If not, uh, I'll try something else in a second. All right, so we'll go on to the next question. Question number two. According to the nursery rhyme, how many blackbirds were baked in a pie? Oh, it has worked that time. There we go. I've actually managed to knock it off. Uh, so red for four, blue for 14, yellow for 20, green for 24. If you don't know, just have a guess. Twenty-four. Uh, four of you saying that, which is the correct answer there this evening. Let's see what that's done to the scores. Ian and Ollie now in first place. Well done to you guys. Question number three, which supermarket sell the two range of clothing? Red for Asda, blue for Morrison's, yellow for Sainsbury's, green for Tesco's. Yep, seven of you getting that one right tonight. And it was, of course, Sainsbury's. In and Ollie uh, with a streak of three. Back in the game. <laughs> Here's question number three. Which instrument can be bass, electric, or Spanish? My goodness, you guys are quick. <laughs> Straight off the ball there. Yeah, red is the correct answer there. Uh, it is, of course, guitar. Let's see what this has done to the scoring. Jane has now got the highest streak of four in a row. So the next one then, question number five. Starting with the morning, put these Radio 2 DJs in order of when you hear them through the daytime. So put them from the bottom to the top in order. Once you're happy with the order, press K to submit and lock in your answer. Let's see how many Radio 2 fans we've got. Six of you answered so far. Just have a guess if you don't know as well. Three, two, and one. There we go. That time is now up. Ooh, only a small percentage of you getting that one right. So we had Zooey Ball uh, early in the morning, Ken Bruce, Steve Wright, and then Sarah Cox is the right order. Let's see if that's changed anything at the scores. The Owens uh, have moved up the leaderboard there. So well done to you guys. Next one. Question number six, Frankie De Tori rode his Magnificent Seven winners at which race course? We've got about a second delay on, uh, on the, on the uh, stream tonight as well, guys. So uh, make sure you, you, you answer before the last second runs out. But six of you got that one right. So uh, red uh, with Ascot was the correct answer there. And the scores on the doors. The Owens have the high streak of three now. So well done there. And the next one. Question seven. Kobicha, Beaver, and Smoky Topaz are shades of which colour? Not sure, just have a guess. Yep, four of you getting that one right with brown. So well done there. The Owens moving up the leaderboard. Streak of four in a row. Well done to you guys.
Question eight. In the order of the British Empire, what does the C stand for in CBE? Again, just press and guess if you're not too sure. Have a little go, see what you think it might be. Six of you getting that one right. Commander is the right answer. Oh, the Owens creeping up that leaderboard there. New Yorkshire Pud back in the game with a streak of three. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Number nine. Who is this? The option's at the bottom of the screen. As soon as you think you know who it might be, press and guess. Something giving it away just yet. Don't run out of time, guys. You've got about three seconds left. Two, one. Naomi Campbell. What's the right answer there? Ian and Ollie with a streak of four. Which of these is the youngest? Two of you getting that one right. So uh, Ben Affleck was the correct answer that time around. That's a little look at the scores now. Changing things just a little bit at the bottom there, but just keep uh, keep trying to get these streaks going. Uh, you will climb up that leaderboard eventually. Another puzzle one from the bottom to the top. Put these traditional anniversary gifts in the correct order, starting with the earliest. So again, from the bottom to the top. As soon as you're happy with the answers or the order of them, Press K to lock in your answer. So that's the right order. Paper, uh, leather, wood, and pottery. That was the correct order. It's a tough one, that one, wasn't it? All right. So I don't think that's changed anything on the scoreboards. No, it hasn't. So we'll keep on moving on. On to the next one. Question number 12 is a true or false one. The native Australian bird Gala gives its name to a cricket equipment manufacturer. It's a 50-50 chance on this one, so just press and guess. True or false? Four of you getting that one right. Saying false. False is the right answer. So yeah, uh, it was false, but the kookaburra does. Kookaburra um, is a make, cricket manufacturer, there you go. You learn something new every day. <laughs> uh, question number, oh, it's a multi-select one, this one. Uh, so which of these are characters in the children's book, Watership Down? Tick, all of them are correct. Which of these are characters in the children's story, Watership Down? Tick, all that you think are correct. Ooh, yeah, five of you getting that one right. So uh, five getting everything right on it. Uh, Bigwig, Hazel and Pipkin were the right answers. Let's see what that's done to the scoreboard. Change things just a bit, little bit at the bottom there as well. And another one. Let's do another one for you. Question number 14. Which country's flag is this? We love a flag. Um, we love a flag question every now and again. That's exactly what we've got here for you. Just have a little guess. If you're not sure, press and guess. 
Time's up on that one. So five of you uh, getting that one right with New Zealand. New Zealand was the right answer. Coco, I've got a streak of three now. So climbing up that board there. Ian and Ollie still at the top. It can all change. We've seen it change before. Let's just keep on plugging away. Question 15, which of these is the smallest in area? Which of these is the smallest in area? Red for Belgium, uh, blue for Netherlands, yellow for Denmark, green for Switzerland. Four of you getting that one right tonight with Belgium. Well done to you. Coco now a streak of four and the Owens climbing up that leaderboard as well. Keep plugging away. Puzzle one from the bottom to the top again. Put these Indian cities in alphabetical order. Once you're happy with the order, press K to lock in your answer. Eighty-three percent of you getting that one right, so that's your right order there. Kanpur, Kolkata, uh, Madurai, and Mumbai. That was the right order. Let's see what that's done to the scores. Coco, a streak of five. You just got to keep plugging away with those, uh, getting them right. <laughs> got to be fast, but you also get to make sure you do get them right as well. <laughs> Here's your next one, a puzzle one again. Uh, put these colours in the reverse order in which they appear in a rainbow. So if you're going from the outside in, this is the other way around, okay? So put these so inside out is the, the, the order you want them to go in. Once, you, once you've done that, lock in the answers. Seven seconds left, six seconds, five. There we go. So, yeah, from the inside going out, it would be violet, indigo, green, and orange. That was the right order. And Coco climbs one more time. Six in a row now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Let's do another one for you guys. Puzzle one again. I've oh put loads of puzzle ones in this one. Uh, starting with the youngest, put these Spice Girls in age order. Lock your answer in once you're happy with it. Might be worth just taking your time on this one as well. Ooh, that's a tricky one, that one, isn't it? Uh, Emma Bunton, Mel B, Mel C, and Jerry Halliwell. I think there's just about a year between them, these two, uh, Mel B and Mel C there. Uh, but that was the right run order for you. Tricky one. No change on the scoreboard. So here comes number 19. Which creature features in songs by both the Stone Roses and the Toy Dolls? Ooh, just one of you getting that one right. Yeah, it was uh, like the, the toy dolls did Nelly the Elephant. I uh, can't quite remember offhand what the Stone Roses one was, but it was Elephant, the right answer there. Let's see any change on the scoreboards. Ian and Ollie bumping their score up just a little bit more. Here we go with another question. Another puzzle one then for you. Question number 20. Put these, uh, this ace of base hit in the correct order. Don't forget, press that K button to submit your answer and lock in your, uh, your order once you're happy with it. All that she wants. That's the right order. Keep 
keeping those scores going there well done guys so we're halfway through the quiz now at the moment how many players make up a team in the Olympic version of beach volleyball one for red two for blue uh, yellow for three green for four Yeah, two per side, uh, making up a team. So that's right. Four of you getting that one right. And the scoreboards, Ian and Ollie, a streak of three now. Keeping their lead going at the moment. Let's do another question. Question 22, name the TV show. <laughs> Come on, interview. Last 10 seconds, guys. Quick as you can. Yep, five of you getting that one right. Homes under the hammer. Well done to you. Ian and Ollie getting four in a row now. It's all this uh, watching of, uh, of daytime TV now that uh, we've got too much time on our hands. <laughs> misspent days here okay, we go with another one then question 23 who is this Yeah, six of you getting that one right. Ricky Wilson uh, was the right answer. Ian and Ollie, a streak now of five in a row. Still time to catch up though, guys. Still time to catch up. Just keep, keep at it. The puzzle question then from the bottom to the top. Uh, starting with the shortest, put these planets in distance order from the sun. Sometimes these ones are just uh, worth spending a little bit more time on. Sometimes it's just better to make sure that you try and get it right rather than uh, the quickest. Press K to submit your answer. You've got three seconds left. Two, one. Ooh, that was a tricky one, wasn't it? Anyway, Mercury. Uh, this is the correct order. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Those are the right order. Alex now got a streak of three coming back. You see, I said it can all change. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> so another one, question 25. Cricket bats are most commonly made from which wood? Yep, three of you getting that one right with the uh, red for Willow. That's the correct answer. Everybody's creeping up the leaderboard there. Question 26. Manchester trousers are made of Manchester cloth, which is another name for what? Yep, well done guys. Six of you getting that one right. Um, corduroy is the correct answer there. Everyone's doing very well. Let's do another one then guys. Question, puzzle question. 27, after all the reds and blacks are potted in a game of snooker, put these balls in the correct order they're potted. SEK to submit once you are happy with the order. Fifty 
15 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Your time's up. So, yeah, that's the correct order. Green, brown, blue, and pink. That's the right order that they are potted. Just 40% of you getting that one right. Changed a couple of you there. Well done. Another puzzle question. Crikey. Question 28. As the crow flies, put these cities in distance order from London, starting with the shortest. Last seven seconds, guys, quick as you can, just guess. Press K to lock in your answer once you're happy with it. Okay, Paris, Dublin, Berlin, and Austria was the correct order, so well done if you got that. Will be getting that one right, well done. So these are the distances on that last question. London to Paris, 214 miles. Uh, London to Dublin, 288. Uh, to Berlin, it's 580. And to Austria, it's 767. Just a little bit of extra info there. <laughs> True or false question. My Wookiee book was the 2007 title of Russell Brand's uh, best-selling memoir. True or false? <laughs> false is the right answer there. Change a couple of uh, things there for you. I think a couple of you might have slipped up, and this is the reason why it was called My Bookie Wook, not My Wookie Book. <laughs> Being a little bit mean there with you, wasn't I? Being a little bit mean. All right, who is this for question number 30? We are edging towards the end now, guys. Oh, a couple of the way through. Who is this? Quick as you can. Oh, yes, get in. <laughs> Four of you correct on that one. And Bradley Walsh was the right answer. I guess a couple of you might have just gone early there just to uh, to have a little stab at trying to get some points early doors. That's where the points are at the minute. Everyone's creeping up that scoreboard. Puzzle question, bottom to the top. Put these words in the correct order that they first appear in the nursery rhyme, Incy Wincy Spider. Press K to lock in your answer once you are happy with the order, guys. Yeah, 83% of you getting that one right. Rain and washed, then sunshine and dried. What's the correct order? I can just imagine you all sitting there trying to, uh, to repeat it to yourselves now. <laughs> Okay, has that uh, changed things? Let's have a little look. Alex making a comeback with three in a row. Well done. Let's do another one then. Question 32. How many rooms are there in the White House? Just press and guess, 132 uh, was the right answer, and only one of you getting that one right. Alex creeping up the scoreboard again. Puzzle question, 
Number 33, put these boxing weights in order from heaviest to lightest. Again, press K to lock in your answer once you are happy with the, uh, the order there. Heaviest to lightest. So heavyweight, light heavyweight, middleweight and featherweight was the right order. Half of you getting that right. And Ian and Ollie still doing very well at the top of the leaderboard there. But it ain't over yet. It's not over yet, guys. A Spoonful of Sugar is a song that features in which film? <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you got that one wrong. <laughs> uh, six of you, of course, getting that one right with Mary Poppins. Well done. That's the scores at the moment. Ian and Ollie racing away, but again, as I say, it's not over just yet. The Pilgrim Fathers, question 35, are most associated with which ship? Yep, five of you getting that one right with Mayflower. Owen's back in the game, three in a row now. Just keep plugging away, guys, keep plugging away. So we're Ian and Ollie at the top at the moment. First place, Coco is second, and the Owens in third. Here's number 36. The Fabia and the Octavia are models made by which car manufacturer? Skoda, Skoda is the right answer. Six of you getting that right. Three players getting a streak of four in a row. Well done to you. Another puzzle question. Put these items of formal wear in order from head to foot. Starting off at the top, going down the body. Press K to submit. <laughs> yeah, top hat, bow tie, cummerbund, and spats is the correct order. Does that change things? Three of you getting five in a row. Well done. Must be getting easier towards the end. <laughs> Question 38. What would you get if you ordered canard in a French restaurant? Probably saying that completely wrong, but if I'm not... <laughs> Press and guess, press and guess. Duck is the correct answer, and three of you getting that one right. Well done to you guys. Leo wins a streak of six in a row. Is it all going to come down to the last one? Question 40. Which creature is this? <laughs> there we go of course everybody getting that one right it was a koala let's have a little look at things on the scoreboard then uh, fabulous right okay so I'll just pop that back on there and uh, let's have a look at the scores coming up in a second for you. 
uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty much the quiz for this evening for you guys. Hope you've uh, had a little uh, bit of fun on that one tonight. I'm much appreciated for you to come along and have a little bit of a play. Um, if uh, if you enjoy yourselves and you uh, you're able to leave a pound or so in uh, in my little box, then uh, that'd be absolutely fabulous. If you could do that for me, that'd be much appreciated. If not, it doesn't matter as well. Uh, as long as you've had a good time, that is all that matters this evening. Uh, so let's now have a little look at the scoreboard. See how you've all done tonight. Here we go. Third place, the Owens. Second place this evening, we've got Coco. Well done, Coco. And the top position, here they come. Ian and Ollie. Okay, guys, much appreciated. Thank you for uh, for playing along on that one this evening. Uh, I'm back on Facebook tomorrow night with the uh, the other Facebook quiz that we do uh, for tomorrow evening. Uh, so that's it from me for the tonight. Uh, hope you've enjoyed yourselves, uh, and uh, thank you for for playing along this evening. Uh, much appreciated, guys. I will see you all next time. Take care. Look after yourselves. See you soon. Bye.